Hey, it's Tom from Texas and it's time for another floppy deep dive and today we're going to be looking at epic summer games with the Olympics going on here in 2021, the Summer Olympics. I thought it would be cool to play summer games by epics and do all the different events on all the different systems that they made this for. The only one I didn't do it for is the Atari ST. I didn't have a way to play it, but all the other systems that they ever made, the Summer Games by Epics, I have played, and what I did is I turned it into a competition. So I could only do one event, one time, and whatever happens, happens. There was no redos, no do-overs, and I did it for each one of the systems, and so I turned it into a gold medal system, where your gold medal gets you five points, silver medal gets you three points, and a bronze medal gets you one. And I went through all the events, just like on the original summer games that they made for the Commodore 64, and I went through them all. If they didn't have it, they opted out of it. But each game, and then compared to see how I did for each one to see which system, would do the best. So this is the first ever 8-bit summer games. So go ahead, sit back, pull up a chair, and let's check it out. So let's go over the systems that we're going to be playing today in this competition. So we're starting off with the original top left is the Commodore 64. It's the original that the Summer Games was made for by Epix. So of course it has to be in the competition. Second, we got the Amiga 500. Yes, I know it's not 8-bit, but it's going to be in the competition because they ported Summer Games to it, so I included it. Next, we've got the Amstrad system, one of my favorites that I'm just loving more and more the more I play it. One, uh, Just a great system, so it's in the competition today. Then in the middle left, we've got the Apple II, classic system. In the middle, we got the Atari 800, another classic system. And then the Atari 2600, my first console I ever had. On the bottom left, we've got the Atari 7800. In the middle is the Sega Master System. And last but not least, the ZX Spectrum. So those are all the systems that are going to be in the competition today. Again, I got only can play it one time. I get one chance to do it. No do-overs. So let's get started. So the first event is pole vaulting, and this one was probably my hardest of all the events. Um, I tried very hard to get over there, time it just right on there, and it just didn't work quite the way I did. You can see Atari 2600 and the Atari 7800 didn't even have this as an option in their games. And basically, on all the systems, I faulted on all but one, only one system I was able to make it over and get it right. So, like I said, this was the toughest one for me. I uh, enjoyed all playing <laughs> all of them and giving them a shot, but and unfortunately in these Olympics, the other eight bits uh, failed and only got one to work. And that one bit, one that worked was the Sega Master System. So the Sega Master System wins gold in pole vaulting. So platform diving was one of my favorite events because it was easy to pick up and almost all the systems had the same controls, which I found helpful. So I was able to actually compete in this one better than pole vaulting and actually get some points on the board going after the different scores. Uh, again, the 2600 in their Summer Games version by Epix does not have diving, so it sat out this event. But everybody else was in the game and actually came across really close, scored some really high points on this one. Um, again, the controls were pretty similar on all the systems, so it made it much simpler to be able to do it. So really enjoyed the platform diving. So let's look at all the systems going across the top, starting the top left-hand corner is the Commodore 64, the original Epix game. Summer Games was created for it. We got in the second one there is the Amiga, and the third there is the Amstrad. Then down here in the middle row, we start with the Apple II, 
In the middle, we got the Atari 800, Atari 2600 set out. Then in the bottom, we have the Atari 7800, we have the Sega Master System, and we have the ZX Spectrum. So the win goes to the Atari 7800, which I scored 407.15 points. And the silver goes to the Amstrad system for 287.6 points. And bronze goes to the Commodore 64 for 255.70 points. So that's the overall ratings. The Atari 7800 just dominated in this event. And now we'll go on to the next event. So next we have the 4x400 meter relay. And again, the Atari 2600 did not have this or the Sega Master System. So we just focused on the systems that had it. Here's a little bit of close up to looking at it. So here's the Commodore 64, the original one made by Epix. Then we got the Amiga 500 next. Here's the Amstrad version of it. The Apple II. The Atari 800, look like old men running. Atari 7800, looks very familiar to the Commodore. And then the ZX Spectrum. So now here's the outlook of all of them again. And, you know, I, I loved how the original Commodore 64 looked. Uh, this race here is all about pacing and running along with the computer pacer or whoever the different one, because you usually have the energy bar of how much you can actually use during that time. So if you use up all your bar all the way up, you kind of slag back. Kind of did that in the Apple one. If you look down there, see how far up behind I am? Where the one in the middle, look at that Atari 800, how fast the guys are running. Uh, it's just, everyone has their little bit different. So, so let's go ahead and let's look at the winner of this medal round. And in this medal round, the Commodore really did really, really well, and I did really good pacing on it. And so the winner of this medal round is the Commodore 64 won gold, two is the Apple II won silver, and the Atari 800. So all the old school guys won the medals this round. So Commodore, the Apple II, and the Atari 800. So let's move on to the next event. So our next event is the 100 meter dash. And again, all lined up the same exact way. The top left, we've got the Commodore 64. We've got the Amiga in the middle on the top, and we've got the Amstrad on the end. We've got the Apple II in the middle on the far left. We've got the Atari 800. And the Atari 2600 makes its debut. It actually had this event on the cartridge. Then over on the bottom left, we have the Atari 7800. We, in the middle, the bottom, we got the Sega Master System. And on the far left, we have the ZX Spectrum. As you look at all these different ones, the biggest thing to notice, I wanna, in the middle, far left, the Apple II just goes incredibly slow compared to all its other systems. It's just ridiculous. You had to go back and forth, but your guy just continued to run extremely slow no matter how much back and forth. And this is one of those joystick killer events where you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to do your best to, to not wear out while you try to get it. So the winner of the 100 meter dash in this one is the Amiga 500 took first place. Then second place we've got the Apple II even. And third with the bronze is the Commodore 64. So now let's move on to gymnastics. So next we got gymnastics and it was a little bit of a difficulty on this event. Uh, and if you blink you're going to miss it because it just doesn't last very long. You just do it a couple of times and then it moves on to the next event. I actually enjoy this one, wish it, it would give you more chances to do it, but with my rules I only get a chance to play it one time and move forward so it's fair for each version of the computer. I liked uh, the Commodore 64, the Amiga up top in the middle looks really good. All of them really did a good job playing wise, maybe not the 2600, but it is what it is, right? 
So it was just a fun game, a little short little mini game within it that you got to get your feet underneath you is the toughest part because once you start spinning it's hard to get back around to where you need to be to make sure that you land it perfectly and at least score some points in there and that's the biggest thing was I just wanted to score some points while I was doing it so I thought thought overall I did well so let's now look at the medal round and see how we did so the winner of this event the Atari 800 came out on top of here and won the gold medal second was the Amstrad it won the silver medal and third was the Apple II won the bronze so now let's move on to do some swimming so swim relay is pretty self-explanatory but you have to swim four laps on each of these systems and of course you wanted to do it as quick as possible going to the left and right and the controls on all these systems were pretty much the same uh, the Sega Master did not have this event on its uh, cartridge so it opted out of this one the Atari 2600 for some reason only does three laps instead of four all the other systems do four so it's been eliminated from the metal round since it only did three laps and wouldn't count but everybody else did a solid uh, four laps going back and forth and on all of them the graphics are really good the play was really good it was all within the fire button you had to push the timing of your arm when you're doing it and then of course the turnarounds and so forth and then the takeoff from the ramp so competing against all of those was basically all that you had to do so so now let's look at the metal round in this event the ZX Spectrum came out way ahead I did four laps in one minute and 32 seconds and second was the Commodore 64 with two minutes and one second and third was the Amiga 500 with two minutes and 12 seconds so really good event I liked it so let's move on now to the 100 meter swim so the 100 meter freestyle swimming is exactly the same as the relay how you race of course you only got to do one lap now and you got to do it as fast as possible and on this one again enjoyed all the systems uh, everyone had it even the sega master system had this one and the timing on here was again pushing the button when your arm goes into the water so really very similar to what we just did and it just happens that the same systems won for the quickness so the gold medal goes to the ZX Spectrum the silver medal goes to the Commodore 64 and the bronze goes to the Amiga 500 so the last event is skeet shooting and I actually always liked this one even as a kid I enjoyed me some skeet shooting and the Atari 7800 and the Sega Master System did not have this uh, event on their cartridges, so they opted out of this one. But this one, you know, it's just shooting, aiming for the target and shoot it. This would be a cool one on the NES to have the little gun to be able to shoot. But i am just got the little joystick and the one red button, and I'm trying to push it to try to shoot these little skeets. Uh, when they're double it was a little bit harder to do but again fun to do enjoyed it so let's check out the medals and see who did the best the Amstrad won the gold with 19 skeet shot the Amiga 500 came in second with 17 skeet shot and the Apple II came in third with the bronze with 16. So that finishes up all the events in our summer games. So let's total up the medals and let's see who comes out on top on the first official 8-bit summer games. So let's look at the medal count. We'll start at the top left again. We got the Commodore 64 who got a bronze, a gold, a bronze, and two silvers for 13 points. We got the Amiga 500 who had a gold, two bronzes, and a silver for 10 points. We've got the Amstrad who won two silvers and a gold for 11 points. We got the Apple II who got two silvers and two bronzes for eight points. We've got the 
Atari 800 that got one bronze and one gold for six points. The Atari 2600 unfortunately didn't win any medals. The Atari 7800 won a one gold medal for five points. The Sega Master System won one gold medal for five points. And the ZX Spectrum won two golds for 10 points. So that's all the gold medals. So let's see who the grand champion is. So here are the winners of the first 8-bit summer games. The Commodore 64 came up on top and won the gold. The Amstrad won the silver medal. And then we had a tie for the bronze with Mega 500 and the ZX Spectrum both share the bronze. So there are your winners of the first 8-bit summer games. I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope you liked this video. It was something different that I didn't anticipate to do. I just was going to check out the different systems playing summer games, but I thought why not turn it into a top competition and go for medals and see which would be the best system. So the Commodore 64, the original that they made this game for, comes out on top as the winner of the summer games of 2021. So I hope you enjoyed the first ever official 8-bit summer games. And thank you for joining me on another floppy deep dive.